Hello and welcome to this Louisiana Beer Reviews Taste Challenge. <clears throat> this evening we have, well, let me go in chronological order. We have King Cobra Premium Malt Liquor, introduced in 1984, replacing the failed Budweiser Malt Liquor, which interestingly was an all-malt malt liquor, no corn or rice, just water, barley, malt, hops, and yeast. Anyway, that's gone. No use talking about it. Premium malt liquor, smooth taste, 6% alcohol. New look, same taste. Well, say a new look. Uh, I think this new look was introduced five years ago. All right. Hurricane, category five, be bold, be smooth, be powerful. 6% alcohol, introduced in 1995. All right. There you see the old label with the H shaking, you know, from the hurricane. And then all the King Cobra labels from over the years. Uh, I don't know what that squeak is outside. All right, um, just started. 40 ounce bottle. Now the date is interesting. It says 24th day of 2017. H. L04, that would be Houston. What was that lot four or whatever? Here's the hurricane. 17024, HL64. So they're both from Houston on the 24th day of January 2017. Very interesting. Alright. We'll go with the 30 year plus production. King Cobra, don't let the smooth taste fool ya. Um, King Cobra, alright. Six percent alcohol, what you know about that? Hurricane, you know I had them in the freezer. Hurricane, 6% alcohol, what you know about that? Nice smoke. Alright. This was re-labeled about four years ago. They did a nice sharp new label. Lick up. Now, the store I bought this at, Exxon, on the go, in Hammond, Louisiana, um, it's the one on um, right next to US Highway 51 and that cross highway that runs to the interstate. What is the number? 3224 or something. Um, University Avenue. They had Hurricane High Gravity 8.1% in the same cooler as the Hurricane 6%. So it's strange that they would have both variants in the same cooler. There is no high gravity version of King Cobra's. Only the 6% is the only thing that ever had, to my knowledge. Okay. Let's see. How are we looking? How are we looking? I don't know. How are we looking? Okay. All right. Um, clear bottle, so it could be skunked. Um, Wizard look exactly the same, that uh, orange gold appearance, like a light amber. Try to mix them up, mix them up without spilling them. Um, I started drinking both of these in 1996. I started drinking beer in February 96. That would be a frequently asked beer question, right? Actually, I don't recall too many people asking me that. When did you start drinking beer? Um, and I tried Hurricane and. Um, King Cobra interchangeably with everything else, and they seem good to me. Um, I found malt liquors had kind of, but malt liquors had kind of a funny little taste, but um, I got used to it very quickly. I think the most frequently asked beer question that I get is, "Why do you pour beer so incorrectly?" And then I'll say, "What do you mean?" And they'll say, "You're supposed to pour it in with the glass tilted. You you have no clue." Who in the world pours beer straight in? Well, <laughs> major brewer, a lot of brewer, 
brewers suggest Australian pour. There are videos produced by brewers showing Australian pour for their beer. Guinness does the tilt. That's their beer. So maybe I do have a clue because I think a company like Anheuser-Busch would know more about a beer pour regimen than me or probably you who's commenting that on that. Um, anyway. All right. So they look the same, same amount of head, which was basically none in this pour here. The aroma, I was hoping the refrigerator would cycle off, but looks like we're going to have that background noise. Um, it's a um, light, sweet, ready malt. <clears throat> Smells good. <laughs> this one over here. Clean, white, sweet, ready, malt, clean water. Both of them are clean water. You know that Houston, Texas municipal water supply? So they smell about the same. I can't tell the difference. They don't seem to present much difference. Kind of a corn thing going on, I guess. Let's go with the taste. Like I said, clean water, bread, corn, it's white bread, sweet corn. The, the mildest little bit of balancing bitterness. The IBU on this, these two items is probably at the most 17. Although it'll come across as though it's 12. They jack it up a little bitty bit just because um, they want to compensate for the higher malt content. And they don't want it to be too sweet and cloying. Sweet bread, a little hoppier maybe, a little tight, a slight bit bitter bitterness difference perhaps. There may be differences, but the differences are not appreciable and frankly barely noticeable. Um, I was looking for it. nutrition figures. Not seeing that. Okay, well, they were the same price, two dollars thirty-nine cents plus tax. You can get cheaper forty-ounce malt liquors at that same store, Exxon. You can get uh, Magnum for one dollar ninety-nine cents. It's lower ABV, five point six, but still one dollar ninety-nine. And I believe the Colt forty-five was one dollar ninety-nine cents. I know they had two for that price, $1.99 and this for the $2.39. That's whatever you feel like paying. None of that is expensive. It's refreshing, easy going, medium body, a little slick in the mouth. You notice I didn't talk about skunk, right? No skunking. No skunking. And these were in a cooler now <laughs> with all those bright lights. However, they were on the bottom shelf. You'll notice the malt liquors, the 40 ounce, tend to be on the bottom shelf, so they're covered by another shelf. And that might help protect it from light damage. But I did see a little bit of that octagonal, I mean hexagonal slime in there, or residue, and there's a ring up there, so. But there's no, there's, there's no skunk. Pleasant, easy going. The main way I would describe this, these two, is just it's a regular type beer. It tastes like regular old beer with a little more body, a little bolder flavor. So, um, a little heavier body. So, I guess I should say so. If you want to drink a regular style beer, but you want it to have a little bit more, more alcohol, more body and a little bit more flavor, then these would be two good choices. You could also get the Bud Light Platinum. That has a little twang, to my recollection, I have to drink some more, maybe do a taste challenge with that. It has a twangier little flavor, <coughs> excuse me, which may appeal to you and may turn you off. These are more mild, muted, mellow flavor. 
you may you may remember there was the Budweiser Black Crown six percent and the Back Sapphire six percent, more gourmet versions, more expensive versions, and much less successful versions for uh, eight percent malt liquor. They were not marketed as malt liquor; they were marketed as above premium beers. Just like the Bud Light Platinum is a malt liquor, but it's not marketed as such. It's marketed as a a lager. It's not a light beer. You know, it can't be because of its calorie count. But Bud Light is now a brand. Bud Light Lime Marita is a heavy, syrupy flavored malt beverage. So that's become like a just a brand name that doesn't have much meaning. Any other little indicators? So that which one is which? Oh, I'm about to get to that. I don't think I'll be able to tell which one's better. I don't think I'll be able to make a determination. It doesn't say, it just said malt liquor in the cursive. Malt liquor. I was going to see if it said beer anywhere. Nope. So they're both from Houston, Texas, and they were both produced on the exact same day. <laughs> all right, uh, last call. i got to drink all these now in one night. I'll just cap them really tight and drink them tomorrow. a little hop action coming into play. They both they both really do. They have a little hop bitterness coming into play. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I'll say this. I can't really tell them apart, but they're top-notch products. I guess I have no preference. Uh, they both taste really good for what they are. Which one is which? Last chance. I think this is probably the Hurricane, which has a little tiny bit more hop action, I believe, than the King Crow, to my, rec to my memory, to my recollection. <coughs> they both got a lot of carbonation. You'll do a lot of heavy burping. No, it's King Cobra, and this is Hurricane, so I couldn't even tell them apart. They're so close. It's... It, they're 99% similar and 1% different, so to tell them apart is... I guess an exercise in futility, really, but um, if you're doing a malt liquor project, these would be two good choices for your malt liquor project. If you want to really double down on the two uh, adjunct lagers, I would recommend that if you do it responsibly. So, thank you for watching this taste challenge. And it's a, a tie. Okay, so we're going to call it a tie. And can you tell them apart? I can't. And you can't. I can't. And I have a lot of experience drinking these, honestly. Um, going back two decades with these two friendly fellows. Hello, friend. Hello, old friend. Y'all take care. And y'all take care. <laughs>